What's going on guys, you got Crave here, and I finally decided to give the Honeycomb design a try and see what they're like. With that, I went with the Extra 5 M42 and it does not disappoint. Let's quickly go over what I think of it. I've had the M42 for about two months now, and it's now a mouse that sits beside my Viper. Initially, the Honeycomb design never really got my attention because, well, I didn't like the fact that the mouse had holes in it. Still, as I mentioned in my Viper review, a lighter mouse is still a better option, so I went and bought this one. Well, it's not really bad to look at. Extra 5 still managed to fit in all the standard features. It has the right amount of buttons, which is great because I did intend to use this mostly for FPS games. And I have to say that the clicks and scroll wheel effect are really just very nice to listen to. The clicks are really just crisp and really just pleasing to the ears. The scroll wheel sounds clean, but it's paired with a very solid tactile feel for each bump up or down. Now, the sound the wheel makes is really just a big difference compared to my Viper, which has a slight rattle-like sound, a rattle-like sound when you scroll up. So, let's listen to the M42. Now, continuing with the body of the mouse, the honeycomb design is, well, the most obvious thing about it, which I suppose is one of the reasons why they were able to keep the weight down to a really good 60 grams without sacrificing the sturdy feel of the device. When it's also plugged in though, uh, you'll notice that extra Fiden leave the inside of the mouse just plain or just bare. They took the time to insert their own branding from within, which I think is a pretty cool effect. It's my first time to have a honeycomb designed mouse, so I'm not sure if other manufacturers have the same thing going on. Now, this also leads me to one of its somewhat modular features, which is being able to switch out its back cover. It has the option of having a cover that has a gentler or slight slope on the part that is near you when being used, or it can have a more abrupt drop. While this may not seem like a big deal, it has two things that are important in picking a mouse that's right for you. First of all is the shape. The M42 is a slightly smaller mouse. So with the replaceable covers, this offers some customization on how it will feel in your hand. Shape is very important to reducing stress or having a better feel and the replacement cover gives you that option. Now the second thing about those replacement covers is that well it might not seem obvious and may it may really depend on your grip style but the cover with the sudden slope gives you more space at well in the part of your palm closest to your wrist in case you have to make those micro or those very small adjustments and move your mouse back. The steeply inclined cover gives you more space in case you have to pull your mouse back a little bit or slightly. Going to the underside of the mouse, it shows four important things and the first one is that the feet which are really just great PTFE skates and they really just glide across my hard mouse mat in case I need to make those uh, large movements. The second thing is that it's paired with the 3389 sensor which makes for excellent tracking of targets and I really just wish I had better skills, especially in shooters. The third thing is the underside is about the underside is the DPI switch which offers eight options which range from 400 to 16,000 and that's indicated by the different colors when pressing the button. And the fourth one is the option to adjust the polling rate which gives you three options which are at 125, 500, and 1000. Now for the RGB effects, it really requires no software which I think is a good thing for most people and this really means that it's just a plug and play device. For example, holding the mouse button below the scroll wheel allows you to change it when you right click it. While it won't be as, let me say, customizable as say having Corsair's Q software, it is a benefit when you don't have to worry about software. Now, the last thing I want to mention is the really flexible cord or the easy cord as Extrafire likes to call it. 
is really just a good pairing with the body of the mouse. It is very light and the weave reduces the friction effect. It gets even better if you have a bungee that can help to reduce or eliminate the friction created by it when touching your table or mouse pad. Still, it is a wired device, which is why I keep my Viper wireless in case in, I'm in one of those moments where I feel a bit more sensitive to cord friction or drag. In addition, I do like the shape of the Viper slightly more than the M42. Overall though, I can see why the M42 is a great and fantastic pick for a mouse. The features I mentioned make it great especially for first person shooters. If you also feel stressed by your constant usage or maybe your hand tends to stiffen up a bit like mine does, then the lightness of the device can really help with that. I wish Extrify could build a mouse that didn't have the or make use of the honeycomb design, but this is what we have so far. Anyway, thanks for checking this out guys. I'll talk to you soon. Leave your wingman. Fire. Rings closing and we're all in the danger zone. 